I'm Evan, I'm Evan Goresco, and this is my daughter, Yael, and she's going to show how wood behaves with and without moisture. And this is the same thing that happens to your piano, okay? So, Yael, uh, can, you, uh, can you try to pull off this piece of wood over here? See how it came out? Okay, let's try it again. Next time, make, next time do it a little easier, because it's pretty easy to come off. Don't be to pull real hard. Okay, see how easy that comes off, okay? Yeah. Now, I'm going to put some more of my moisture on it. Yeah. You're gross. Okay, so I put some moisture on the, on the wood, and then I'm going to stick it in the hole. I'm going to let this sit here for a minute, okay? Now we're going to try this one over here, okay? This is a real piano part. This is what's called a butt. Flange and actually goes right into the whipping. I'm sorry, right, it goes right on the main action rail over here. Okay, yeah, Elsa, why don't you try to pull that out for me? It came out real easy, right? Yep. Now we're going to try it again. I'm just going to put a little moisture on. Let's see how easy it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to put it in there. Sit for a minute? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> pull with all your strength. Come on. You're strong. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. When you get hurt. So, two sec one second later, it didn't come out, right? Now, what happened? Well, meanwhile, before, Let's see about this one. before I answer that question, this is part. fun. This is fun? Real fun. Okay. All right, we're going to try it again. Okay. Come on, Paul. Mmm. It's coming. Okay. So, what happened? Uh, it just swelled up, and now the wood's a totally different size in the same hole. Try it one more time. Come on, pull as hard as you can. Be careful. All right. Okay. All right. Ooh, whoa. I got it off. All right, so I you can't get it off. I'm not going to keep that part of the clip. No. Well, the first time. Okay. Yep. Okay, that's it. That's it. So uh, you'll meet my this is my daughter. She uh, And she helped me show you how wood behaves. Thank you, Yael. Okay, now you got to go. Welcome. Now you go back to study. I keep this cover on my piano for the most part just to protect the wood cabinet. I actually have a little humidity gauge which tells me at all times what the humidity of the room is. So I'm always able to re refer to that to see what's going on. Now in this room I actually have a five gallon humidifier that uh, pumps quite a bit of moisture in the air, enough to keep this room adequately humidified. I usually find myself running this humidifier in the uh, winter. So this thing works quite well and is a five gallon capacity. I have a be an in between the beams installation of a complete humidity control system. And these systems are set up primarily to create a microclimate uh, situation right around, around the sounding board. Now, what is the sounding board? If you look underneath here, you can see that wood with those bars, and they're called ribs. That is the sounding board, and that runs all the way around the, the perimeter of the piano. And so the way these systems are set up is they have, a, they have uh, heating rods that alternate with a uh, wicked humidifier reservoir in the middle. It gets moisture up right in the vicinity of the sounding board and it's regulated by that item over there and that's a humidistat. That sounding board uh, moves. It changes dimensions as you, and as you, if you recall from the earlier demonstration just how quickly uh, wood will change. Pianos are highly engineered and as you will see from the top, I'll give you a quick tour up there that any small fluctuation or shift can and will affect how the piano sounds. It will actually stretch out the string. So I'll, uh, I'm going to give you a quick tour from above. Okay, so here we are now looking at the piano without the cover on it. As you can see, uh, what the strings run over are what's called bridges. There's a long bridge called the treble bridge. And it runs all the way along the length of the piano from one side to the other and then the base bridge is where all the base copper wound 
where the wound strings go over and at the base bridge and the treble bridge there's what there's an area of the plate that's called the break the treble uh, or that is the tenor bass break and that's a very important place on a piano because that's where you see the greatest out of tune is that is when the, the sounding board actually shifts in dimension uh, as a musician or a layperson that's where you hear it mo out of, most out of tune because pianos don't go out of tune uniformly.